Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Today I had to do my last upgrade on this car. Is to upgrade my quarter, my line, my blow off line. Hold on. Upgrade my blow off line to a quarter inch line. Let me show it to you. Hold on. This line right here. Upgrade it to a quarter line. To this line right here. Because the line right here is fat. The line right here is supposedly fat. Uh, but it's not fat right there like hold on let me show it to you um, let me show it to you why it's not I will show it to you in close up because this entrance you see how small the entrance is it's a super small entrance even though my line is a quarter line the entrance is super small to get it in there you know what I mean so we're gonna do this right now um, I'm gonna I, I don't know like how how I'm gonna show you guys but I'm, I'm gonna try to tell you guys in step by step what I do so I'm, I'm gonna remove the manifold right now and then um, all this information I got from Jake Spence he wrote a whole um, thing about it online and that's where I'm gonna get the whole thing off uh, so basically you gotta I have all my stuff right here all my stuff right there my drill bits uh, all the nipples to close off that old hole and the glue to close it up and the piece to make the hole inside the manifold and this piece right here let me show you to you why it's such a big difference basically it's a huge difference between this one and that hole right there it's a much much smaller smaller hole so we had to make it bigger so this would fit this piece right here supposedly this hole is bigger but it's not enough over there the whole piece coming out is too small so we're gonna make it bigger right now because it basically it helps the turbos to stay longer much much longer because um the turbos will have the air coming out back really really good okay so now we remove the manifold now we gotta find a nipple for this thing hold on a nipple for the small piece I think this is gonna work you plug it in you plug it in yeah that's perfect 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 this is the small nipple you plug it in and you close it like this then we have to find a spot where we can drill other guys drilled one here somewhere we're gonna see right now where we're gonna drill we're gonna find a space now we're gonna drill a hole right here we plugged it in we're gonna use some other stuff over there to plug it in we're gonna drill a hole over here we're gonna start with a smaller drill and go up up the line Guys, we made it a hole and we and we actually made it good. It goes inside real nice. It goes really good inside. Then we're gonna put some nylon tape in there and screw this thing in there. Real good one. All right. Put the nylon in there. So it would um, stay in there really good and put it inside slowly. Now you thread it in there slowly. Now we're gonna use epoxy 
to go around there just to make sure and then we're gonna smoke test the car put it all back and then smoke test tomorrow we're gonna wait for it all to dry that's a nice clip though all right we use the epoxy around it so there's gonna be no leaks then we're gonna smoke test it but i'm pretty sure there's nothing gonna come out of there <laughs> just look at the difference this one and the stock one way way bigger this line is so baby way bigger and now when the epoxy is drying i'm gonna go and take my um the fuel rail and drill drill the fuel rail to 116 some people uh, are telling uh, that we have to drill more but we're only gonna use 116 because I talked to some people who are really good in this stuff and they said um, do not go deep bigger go 116 this is not gonna lose any pressure in the high pressure fuel pump it's just gonna be perfect pretty much so my high pressure fuel line would be more healthier so it, the numbers will be a little bit more healthier first of all we're gonna go into the um, inside the car and we're gonna remove um, this I believe this is it this uh, low pressure fuel pump um, uh, fuse so the fuel will not go into the uh, thing it will be some fuel but not too much so we do this first then we're gonna just take it all off one by one and just remove it all right now you got the fuel line off you're gonna go and drill this with 116 116 because the hole is so small so we got the sensor out and we blow dry it so it will be dry inside and we're gonna start drilling right now we're only gonna go with 116 only 116 the smallest one because it, we don't need too much of bigger hole because it's gonna be way too way too big hole is done To wash it better you put some fuel inside and then you blow dry it again you you wash it like this and you blow dry it again a couple times then you put it all back together make sure everything's tightened and just put the whole car back now this epoxy is already dried out pretty much i'm not gonna start the car today we're gonna do it tomorrow well honestly that i don't even matter bro i think we can start today yeah it doesn't matter all right guys now my friend is gonna help me. I'll put it in there. So stop. And and I'll probably do the cutscene here. Shop no shop. Ano ano shop no. Ah, so. Ano shop no, straight away. Kuta. Okay, now all right, cars back. Now what we do, guys, is just cut the size you need and just install it over there. Okay. Ты же спирт даешь. Что штуку поставил то? А, то, что якобы, как что они сказали. Да, бери одну одень сразу. Протяни и тут по месту. Типа. И все. Вот так вот, да? Я думаю, так вот. Uh -huh. Идеально. Вот. 
Да, чтобы чтоб, чтоб, чтоб не потом лазить можно было сюда. Знаешь, чуть-чуть что? висело, чтобы чтоб не сильно, чтобы тоже провисало. Угу. Она включена. Окей. Все. Ладно. Now the blow of all should be much louder. Ромче будет, да? Должен. Потому что он больше, бывает, больше да. Скидает, да? Mm-hmm. All right. And this is how you do it, guys. Let's start the car and see what happens. Oh, let's put the fuel pump, fuse back. This is the second. Yeah, let me see the picture. I think. Now we put it back. Uh, oh, my hair. Надеюсь, зацеплюсь я, короче, на, на треке. Нормально все будет. Окей. Давайте начнем Смотри, я взял фотографию, где это. И теперь давайте начнем Мы подключили сенсор. Окей, Test the car. The smoke test the car then, and that's it. Guys, this is why you check for boost leaks. You see the plastic piece inside? It freaking jammed in there between the manifold. Guys, this is why you check for boost leaks. <laughs> Can you guys believe this? We will go order the new rubbers right now, just in case, and change them all. The valves are so clean. Like key valves, чистый, bro. Valves are so clean, guys. All of them. Это метано, он же помогает. All right, guys. Remove the old rubbers. They're kind of hard compared to the new ones. The new ones are, are so like nice, and this one are kind of hard actually. Нам много софтер. Окей. Дым пошел. Согласен? Guys, no boost leak at all. Nothing. Perfect. I'm super happy. This is why you gotta do it right, guys. Fix the car, then check. Check for leaks. Make sure everything's perfect. Make sure everything's amazing. Nothing. Там не идет? Нет. Guys, I'm about to show you my freaking lugs. Um, this right here, before the drill, drilling of the fuel, I'm gonna tell, show you guys some lugs right now. I'm gonna show you guys some lugs. I'm gonna show you guys some lugs. Look. This is lugs from before. Boost 27.70. Target 29. See, it dropped already some here because of the boost leak. And the fuel pressure high side is 10. 11, 28, 40. But mostly it would go to 10. 28, see, 2 PSI drop. Target 29, oh wait, 1 PSI drop. Uh, and fuel pressure high side, side is 10. Let's see now. Now let's see uh, the lugs from recently I just did. And this time there is no boost leak, so it actually running 29, 28.40, 29. Let's see right now, and let's see our high side, how much it improved. Guys, 
28.80 boost see the boost leak is fixed target is target 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 I don't see no target but target is 29 because I'm only running 29 pounds of boost um, this is from a different app so I have my phone here and I have this one over here so target is 29 as well but look at that the fuel pressure high side is 11 and this is 28.80 like that's already like a really high boost look boost 29.10 6600 rpm fuel pressure high 11 I, I'm so blown away guys 28.80 6300 rpm 11 like the whole graph just looks 11 it's crazy guys and this is higher rpm so this is incredible basically it moved from about I had less boost 1 psi sometimes 2 psi and my numbers were 10 sometimes it would actually touch 9 now right now on high boost that I ever had without any boost leaks on high rpm I took it all the way slowly it would actually hit all the way to 29 and my high side is 11 I can't believe this so basically it, it improved from 10 sometimes 9 to 11 straight up 11 some areas of course it touched 10 but on higher pms where i really need the, the high side to be higher is 11. it freaking improved by one which is a lot um which is a lot if people who knows they will understand that's a huge improvement guys i can't believe this and also i used to have overboost issues a lot more uh and it improved by a little bit um i used to have a different transmission tune it would have a lot of uh, more overboost right now on some lugs i see less overboost and some lugs I, I see still have some overboost but i can hear my blow off valve working much better much more cleaner uh, i have 8 psi spring in there so my 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 tire blow off valve was working good right now it's just working much better the quarter inch line completely helps the air to come out much faster and i saw some lugs i seen i erased them I didn't even see no overboost at all there's no overboost like it, it there's no overboost but lugs before would have some overboost it's really weird but I'm really happy even though it would not help too much for example I know it can it helped me because I can see the the sound of blow off valve is so much cleaner so much like straight like what what and before it would go like what <sighs> like what why like I can hear like it's much much um, much faster I can hear the air comes out much faster that means your turbo is gonna stay longer guys I tried my best to give all the explanation what I did in this video sorry if I made any mistakes Jake Spence thank you again for the instructions how to do the quarter inch line you're the best and check out his Instagram guys uh, check his YouTube I mean he has a YouTube channel and guys I'm out it's so dark in here I'm um, it's late I'm gonna post a video Sunday. You guys are gonna watch it right now. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And like, subscribe, and comment. Just, just press like, guys. Like it's gonna help me out so much. More people's gonna see it, and, I, and I'm gonna have fun doing videos because sometimes I feel so bad because like I don't see, I, I don't, I, I didn't see that much uh, views, and it's just sad because I uh, sometimes I work so hard. But I know it's gonna improve. I'm not even tripping, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video because I know. I, I know you helped me out so much by liking and commenting. I know all you guys do. Just whoever didn't comment, comment something. Whoever didn't like, just like it. You guys have a great day. Peace out. I try to do my best to help my N54 community. Yes, sir.